Be careful out there, TikTok's the devil. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melinda Lyons. I'm a psychic medium, a near-death experiencer, a demonologist, a witch, and an astral exorcist. So have you guys been noticing TikTok's been going pretty occult lately? Isn't it a little weird? It's a little eerie. Yeah, I haven't been noticing this so much on Instagram, but it's actually been pretty popular on TikTok. There's been a lot of satanic and ritualistic things and demonic things going on in TikTok that have actually really quite surprised me. A few days ago, I was sent um, actually this one particular TikTok from my friend Cody. Thank you, Cody. Shout out to my girl, Cody. And we're going to go ahead and react to this video because it's a doozy. <laughs> Let's just say it's painful to watch um, as a person who's very experienced in all of this, as a person who has been working with entities and knows demons and de devils very, very well. It's very painful to watch someone so naive uh, say the things that she says. But before I continue, if you haven't seen this channel before, welcome. If you've seen me before, welcome back. If you are more into enlightening yourself and learning how to protect yourself from unwanted negative spirits and also getting information like this of what not to do, make sure you subscribe and like and hit that notification bell so you can be notified of videos I upload like this every week. So um, we're gonna go ahead and react to this because honestly guys, I'm very shocked by this and I really wanna see your guys' input. So we're gonna watch this together. I don't have TikTok, so I have to go through it through um, a little bit differently. But okay, here we go. This is uh, painful to watch. Hey guys, so I'm gonna be talking about can you sell your soul to the devil? So if this is your first time seeing me, um, I'm a psychic medium and I've been in contact with the spiritual world since I was super, super young. Super what? Super born? <laughs> she looks so young. Um, I gotta stop you here. I gotta tell you guys. So she's claiming she's a psychic medium. Okay, charity. So it looks like okay, K charity. That's her name, I suppose. She's got a lot of followers. She's got over 6,000 likes on this video. That's the reason why I am I have to react to this because this information is so bad, but we're gonna react to it, okay? We're super young, probably younger than three. Also been astral projecting since around there too. And I can feel energy when I go somewhere. I know who is sad or depressed or something's going on i can feel energy anywhere around me i can feel energy can feel energy because she's saying the word energy like energy energy i can feel energy anywhere around me i can feel energy you mean energy <laughs> okay okay and sometimes I can read minds, I have visions, and I can communicate with spirits, entities, and I can see them. And I can feel if they are there. Psychic mediums can't read minds. <laughs> right off the bat, I know. I'm sorry, I can't even hold it back any longer. Right off the bat, this girl is lying. It bothers me that as a medium, I have to listen to this as a person who helps people for a living for free. And I have to sit and listen and see this. And 6,000 people like this. Let's just say her energy is a little off. I can feel energy. Anywhere around me, I can feel energy. And I know a lot, a lot of information from the spiritual world. And also, I can heal people. So, whoa what you can heal people and also i can heal people also i can heal people uh how what you mean charity what do you mean if she ever sees this please i would i would love to know what you mean by healing people because psychic mediums can't heal people uh, that's not our purpose on this planet. We have the ability to heal 
in certain ways, but not like, like, voila, I'm Jesus Christ, I just healed you, you can walk again. It's not like that. So I would love to see what, what she means by that specifically. Can you sell your soul to the devil? A lot of people think this is a real thing. It's like a big conspiracy, but selling your soul is not a thing. Entities do not want your soul. They want nothing to do with it because they can't do anything with it. What? What the fuck are you talking about? Oh my God. <laughs> Cody, it's your fault. <laughs> Cody, it's, it's your fault, Cody. The fuck is she? What the hell is this girl smoking? No. Um. <laughs> ah. <sighs> I like how she's calling it a conspiracy theory because it's not a conspiracy theory. Selling your soul is a legitimate thing. Um, it's known in demonolatry, demon working, demon worshiping, Satanism. It's not a conspiracy, so she obviously miserably failed in that area. Um, it is practiced all over the world in all countries all over the world. Every country has their different version of it. Um, ancient Egyptian has been studying it. Like they practically discovered it along with ancient Mayan, uh, Mesopotamian, uh, Zoroastrianism in some fashion. So there's a lot of history of selling one's soul and dealing with entities. The issue is that she's not clarifying demons and devils. She just says, can you sell your soul to the devil? And she says, no, entities don't want your soul. Well, that depends on the entity you're specifying. Specify which entity. Is it human souls you're talking about that like are, are you talking about dead people that don't want human souls yeah dead people don't typically want the other human souls but that depends are they working with demons are are the dead human souls in alignment with satanism because yes it is a very very real thing so um i'm already very triggered by this a lot um, let's keep going. Beings just like us, there are good and there are bad. So no, you cannot coming from a person that's been in the spiritual world and been all over everywhere in the spiritual world. No, it's not real. It's not a thing. I hate to break it to you guys. It's not a thing. They do not want anything to do with your soul entities do not want anything to do with it because they can't do anything with it yeah okay so the fuck did i just <laughs> what did i just watch all right <laughs> all right charity i'm gonna give you a little charity of demonology in all seriousness she's 1000 percent wrong She's not only wrong, she's actually leading people in a very, very dangerous path. And it actually makes me very concerned because how do I know she actually isn't working with demons? How do I know she's not working with Satan or Lucifer or even other devil entities like Baphomet or Belial or many others? So there are hundreds if not thousands of devil entities and there are millions of demons. So. So for her to sit there and say that they have no use for a human soul is already showing, it already showcases how much she has no idea what she's talking about. To say that demons and devils have no use for your soul is already fully because demons and devils recruit human souls because they use the human soul as an energy source of power. That's how the devil becomes more powerful. That's one of the reasons why over the course of time, they've been more and more physically able to do more things because the more human souls they can collect, the more greater the psychic energy to manipulate the physical realm. 
So this is something that she obviously knows nothing about. For her to elaborate and say on a huge tangent saying so proudly, oh, I've been all over the world. I've, I've been to every realm. Person that's been in the spiritual world and been all over everywhere in the spiritual world. Really? You've been to the billions and zillions and trillions of realms because that's how many there are. <laughs> there are infinite amounts of realms. There is no fucking way this, I'm sorry guys, I have to be really real here. There is no fucking way this girl is telling the truth and it makes me furious. Every single thing that she said is completely inaccurate. So 6,000 people liked this video and are probably even sharing it and are probably believing it and spreading this lie. And this is what is so frightening to me as a demonologist, as an astral exorcist, because I do this for a living. I get rid of negative entities and I've been possessed twice. So for her to sit there and say that they have no use for you is bullshit. They do not want anything to do with your soul. Entities do not want anything to do with it because they can't do anything with it. Guys, I'm just honestly just as shocked as you probably are. I want to know your thoughts. What are your thoughts about this? Anyone? I want to know. What do you feel? What's your instinct? What's your intuition say? My intuition, my gut, and plus even my guide said she's blowing air out of there like she's saying nothing correct all of it is inaccurate all of it is wrong it's all misinformation and not only that she is not a psychic medium the reason why i know that right off the bat is because of the ego that's permeating in her smile if you look at her smile and really take time to really look at it she's she acts as if you can see in her face that she's smug about it Oh, I know everything. I know everything. No, you don't. I don't even know everything. And every psychic medium would tell you there is no fucking possible way you would know everything because the first lesson in psychic mediumhood is humility. So maybe you should swallow that pill for a minute and take a minute to take the blue pill and chill. Because the reality is when you take that red pill, you realize you don't know everything and you realize that there is a lot more to fucking the other side than you could ever imagine. The other side has vast, infinite, limitless realms. It's unbelievably limitless. Not just that, it's also based on the realm of consciousness, not just source energy, which is all energy, but it's also our level of consciousness can go into different levels of realms in our own minds. So we can tap into different levels of energy frequency of realms in our own minds. Demons can do this. Angels can do this. Gods can do this. Star seeds can do this. Reptilians can do this. Every entity in the realms can do this. This is one of the reasons why there are infinite levels of realms because it's also based on individual consciousness that is also source of energy that is connected to everyone in the course of existence. This is why I don't have friends. <laughs> this is why I don't go out. I think she deep down is just looking for attention. I think deep down she wants to find a place to fit in. I wish I could be kinder in my delivery, but I'm just gonna be brutally honest. If you're gonna deliberately lie on the internet, then I'm gonna tell you straight up, you're full of shit. And I'm a person who has known psychic mediumhood for many years, had a near-death experience. I also wrote books on this. I don't even think she's even read one. How many psychics have you spoken to that have validated the same source of information. I'm pretty sure most psychics will tell you that's a lie. How many clients have you had and how many times have they said that your readings are accurate? How accurate are you, Charity? And have you also given your abilities out to Charity without using it for clout on TikTok? Because the whole point of being a medium is being the messenger of the divine. It's not about getting clout. It's not about looking popular. It's not about even making money. Sure, we need to charge people a reasonable amount while we help and also enlighten humanity. But the divine purpose of being a medium, at least for me, is about doing it for the human good, for the good of mankind, and also with the genuine heart of honesty. I highly doubt 
more than half the things you claim to experience, you even experienced a pinch of it. And I think it's disgusting that someone would make a video like that and post it on TikTok. I think it's disgusting that people are now faking being psychic even more now on social media than ever before just to look cool, to look superhuman. The truth is being a psychic is a fucking struggle. Being a psychic is a painful process. It's a curse, but a blessing. Because then you realize negative entities want you because you're the antenna to their TV. You're the antenna, you're the control for them to manipulate. That's what negative entities like demons want. They want to go into your consciousness through the law of invitation, then take you through oppression, then influence you in the third stage of demonic haunting. And then they possess you. And if they can't or won't possess you, they will kill you and take you to hell. I've been there. And that's one realm I'm pretty sure you've never been to. I will say this in all generosity and all care and all love. She needs to rethink her motives and her agenda. She needs to take time to be honest with herself. And if she wants to open up her psychic abilities, cool, do it. But do it honestly. Don't do it for clout. Don't do it because you think it'll make you look cool. Do it because you want to help people, but more so because you want to evolve as a human being, as a soul, as a spirit in a human body experience. Because once you open up your third eye for real, you'll look back at that video a year from now and go, what the fuck was I thinking? I had no clue what I was talking about. Because every psychic knows that this is not a game and it's not for gain, it's for growth. I wish her the best and I care about her as a human being, but my biggest concern right now is the deception from her mouth. And when you choose to lie on the internet, you're going to get a comeback from someone like me. <laughs> That's a little bit more than I need. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure you go ahead and like and subscribe and check out the rest of my channel. I also have books on Amazon.com and at my website at lastfrontiermedium.com. If you're also looking for chances to maybe uh, broaden your horizon in the psychic medium field or even in your witch or wicca uh, work, I do sell candles on ascendedcandles.com that may help you. So again, I wish you guys so much love and light. Thank you so much for watching and be careful out there. TikTok's the devil. <laughs> it's, no, it's not. But some people might as well be working for him. So, but I wish you guys love and light. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. And I can feel energy when I go somewhere. I know who is sad or depressed or if something's going on. I can feel energy anywhere around me. I can feel energy.